Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. I have not posted since literally like a year ago. I'm really sorry, but I needed a time out. I'm coming back on here and I'm gonna give you a get to know me, get ready with me video. I'm just gonna be doing my everyday makeup when I want a little bit of coverage. Let's get into it. I'm not really sure why, but I'm actually shaking right now. Like I need to get a grip. So I'm just gonna go in with the Primark Prep and Perfect Primer. I really like this as such a hydrating base for your makeup. So I don't really know where to start. I did YouTube. When did I start doing YouTube? My first ever YouTube video was the Mallorca vlog and I actually did quite a lot of vlogs during my gap year. That's such a lie, lady. You literally did how many did I do? I literally did six, so shut up. Um, I don't know why, I, think I just couldn't keep up with it. I had quite a busy gap year because I was full time in work, working in a cafe and I just didn't have the time to do YouTube or content. So I started doing TikTok. Just using the e.l.f. primer, power grip primer. This is so good. It really sticks down your makeup. It really makes your makeup like last all day. I'll pop up my TikTok page here and I'll maybe put my Instagram here as well. I'm gonna be really real with you guys. I thought like, do you know what? I can't go back onto YouTube until I've got a certain amount of followers, like at least 10K on my TikTok. That's really not the mindset to go by. I've just decided to start doing YouTube and I'm gonna post a lot of weekly vlogs. I've started pushing out on TikTok recently, but I'm also gonna put them on YouTube. So if you're here from TikTok, thank you so much for supporting me. I literally love you all so much. I just got given this by Ellie brow sculpt and oh my gosh is it the best brow product ever to stick down your brows it's giving soap brows like look how stuck down they are i really 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 recommend i'm just gonna go over that with a spoolie to really stick them down like look how stuck down they are wow I really need to wash my makeup brushes. It's something that I've been putting off for so long now. I'm just gonna mix the fine, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, skin tint, because it's so light. I'm gonna have to mix it in with the one and only Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour skin tint. It's actually such a good skin tint. I'm gonna just mix them together because this shade that I got is not my shade. If you don't know me, my name is Clearly, because you'll probably have seen my <laughs> YouTube tag, whatever you wanna call it, uh, Lydia Rumney. I was born in Thwing. I think that's in East Yorkshire. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I wasn't there for that long. I was there until I was like three and then moved into Chester. I feel like this is way too much product, but I feel like this makeup look's just gonna go so wrong because I'm concentrating on what to talk to you guys about. I grew up in Chester. Absolutely love that place. <laughs> Great home. With my mom and dad and my sisters and then they got divorced <laughs> why does the d word always have to come involved in this like get to know me chat because i did a get to know me chat on uh, tiktok and i said exactly the same thing but yeah my parents got divorced when i was like eight i love them for that though because do you know what we're better with we're better with a with a separated family than we are together because they weren't supposed to be together but it's what it is this is getting so deep oh my gosh let's get myself out of this hole look how glowy Oh, I really need to put that down a bit more, actually. I might use this just to... Okay, slay. Let's not talk about my family drama. Love my family. That's all you need to know. <laughs> the one thing you do need to know about me is I talk for the UK. Like, I could talk forever. Once you get past the shy little Lydia, who kind of doesn't open up until like I know you a little bit more because I get a little bit scared about how you're gonna judge me. Like I don't know whether you're the same vibe, like I'm a bit of a crazy gal. Until I've opened up properly, you will then start talking and you won't get me to shut up. Like, that's why I need to do YouTube because TikTok is just not long enough videos for me to do that. In school, if you wanna know, <laughs> I mean, you'll be watching this video to get to know me anyway, so why would you not wanna know? But in school, I did for A-level, I did photography, religious studies and health and social care. And I actually loved it, other than the fact that COVID happened when I was in sixth form. So I wasn't really able to make friends, but that's fine. Yeah, it was great. Um, But I did struggle in religious studies. It's so hard. I don't understand how anyone got an A or a B or a C in any of them. I don't know what I got. I think I got a D in the end. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I did get a C. I think I got a C. And then I got an A. 
in photography and in like a D star distinction star in health and social care but I absolutely loved health and social care my health and social care class was just such a vibe so chill and I loved my teachers they were just so lovely I really wish I could go back to high school like as much as I love uni I really wish I could go back to high school and just do it all over again because it is such a vibe not as much pressure I did photography religious studies and health and social care in sixth form I've just buffed in all of that Look at that base, guys, with the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe, but they've changed the name, and I don't know what the name's changed to, but absolutely love their products. I'm just gonna go in, oh, she's got loads of stuff in her hands, I probably should get that sorted out. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Such a good concealer, like honestly, just so cheap. I haven't really tried anything else because everything else is just too expensive, but it's what it is. I finished school in 2020. No, I finished school in 2022. I'm like actually shaking. No way, we finished school in, oh, sorry, I don't even know. I hope someone from school is watching because that'd be great, but we finished school in 2022. Is that right? Yeah, it is. That's actually mad. Oh no, it isn't, that's not right. Actually, we did finish in 2023. Oh, did we? No, we did, we, we, we finished in 2022. That's actually mad. That's crazy. That's crazy. I finished then and I didn't want to go to uni. I was very set on not going to uni. Absolutely not. I thought, do you know what? I can get a photography career without going to uni and I was set on it. And now I'm at uni. <laughs> so that's my life. I'm joking. We're not going to end the video right here. I'm such a waffler. I need to get straight to the point. Otherwise, this is going to be like a 20 minute video. So I didn't want to go to uni. So I decided to take a gap year. My boyfriend also took a gap year too. And because he did not want to go to uni, like at all absolutely no and i just didn't know what to do with my life really so i took a gap year worked in a lovely coffee shop learned some barista skills oh my gosh shut up you're literally ruining my video it was so loud oh no in my gap year i also went to south africa oh my gosh that was like the best experience of my life like it actually changed my mindset of life it made me appreciate like the smaller things in life and like the living not the living but like <laughs> i literally saw like 30 giraffe just like probably like two meters away from me and they're in a game reserve and they were just chilling and i was like wow do you know what when it comes down to it we're living on the earth and that's insane the chances to have all these people living on this earth at the same time as you is so little i'm like that's insane but yeah life-changing events in my life I'm with my boyfriend because he actually grew up there and he moved to england in year 10 start of year 10 i think but yeah, his dad's still over there, so I met his dad, and it was actually so scary, but he's an absolute babe, so it's fine. Um, and he did like me. I just was myself. I was so scared, because, like, I was already, like, two years into the relationship, and I was like, okay, well, if you don't like me, I don't really know what to do about that. I've been going out with my boyfriend for three years now. Three years in June, and his birthday's in July, and he'll be 21. So I've got a lot of pressure on myself this year to do a great, great celebration for him. I'm just going in with, obviously it's Maybelline Fit Me, like that's all the products I've been using so far. Translucent powder. I think that's what it's called. The matte poreless translucent powder. I'm not really a biggest fan, but I really want to get a Huda Beauty powder. I'm just going to pop that under my eyes and then also go over it with a powder puff. Because we love powder puffs and that one's also by Chloe Cosmetics. Then decided I'm going to go to uni because I just needed independence and to be honest I also needed the degree don't really know what else to say about that but and actually this is probably one of the best unis for photography like not one of the best but like top 15 top 20 all my lecturers are current photographers I'm literally obsessed with all their work like the lecturer who's teaching me right now has literally done a photo shoot with King Charles well she literally had like 30 seconds 15 seconds to take his photo and she was doing it on film so it was like such a long process but she was like she's so scared she's an editorial photographer and I absolutely love her she's amazing don't know why I'm going on about her sorry I'm so chubby I'm just so nervous I think I need a water break this Miyoki cup guys it's good it's really good I did come to uni in September 2023 and I'm absolutely loving it it was hard 
has been a bit of a hard last few months because my boyfriend actually joined me to come to this uni. I don't know whether I should even say the uni, like, is that, like, security? I'm not gonna say that, so never mind. You probably all know where I've gone anyway. My boyfriend came to this uni but then dropped out before Christmas, so it's been a bit of an adapt situation. It's fine. We're all good. We're doing long distance and I go back, like, a couple times a semester and then he comes here a couple times a semester, so I get to see him, like... Ever is the waffle. It was a little bit more of an easier adapt because I've made friends here. I had already situated myself in here, so I knew what I was coming back to after the Christmas holidays. Although I can't lie to you, I've been missing my dog like a lot. A lot. And I miss the walks. I'm such a countryside girl. I don't think I will be living here for the foreseeable. After uni, I want to go back and live in the countryside. Or outside of Manchester because outside of Manchester would be perfect because then you've got city and countryside. My plan for YouTube from now on is to post at least once a week. I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs. I will push out on TikTok and here and they're not going to be that long, literally like 10 minutes. And then if I fancy doing a video every so often as well, like a chatty get ready with me, what I eat in a day, all of that shebang. Pretty much what I do on TikTok but longer videos. Down the line I'm really hoping to get a YouTube camera. Fingers crossed. I might try to get a YouTube camera in summer, but we'll see how we go because you girls got a lot of expenses. I'm moving into my second year house in the summer. I've literally got like two and a half grand to save up to pay over the summer's rent and then also an upfront deposit thing. I'm trying to get a part-time job here. I'm currently waiting to hear back from them and then I probably will help cover the cafe that I worked in in the summer every so often but I probably also need to get another part-time job as well I really want to go on a girl's holiday um one of my friends Leah I literally really want to go on holiday with her it's so bad so if you watch this Leah we need to get booking with our non-existent money I really want to go on a cute girl's holiday I need some sun I'm really excited this summer because I do feel like other than the potential idea of going on holiday with Leah I'm excited for like a British summer like I did go to Greece last year what did I do the year before that I think I had a British summer the year before that. But yeah, I'm really excited just to have like a little British summer. I really want to get a car, but I probably won't be able to get a car, but I'll just use my mum's car. I'm in my mum's car. Just to go and take my dog to the beach. I've just used the Hula bronzer, which I actually need to get another one. Or a new bronzer, so let me know if you have any recommendations. And I'm just going in with the Benefit Shelly bronzer which is very very pigmented and i always forget every time i put it on so then i end up looking like a clown my five-year plan let's go i really want to be a content creator and i've wanted to be a content creator from like literally the age of like 12 13 but i've not had the courage to do it and i'm finally doing it the only thing is i'm balancing a degree so it's really hard to put like all my effort into content creating but i'm starting somewhere i've decided to post on youtube again and then obviously I want to be a photographer, otherwise I wouldn't have come to uni, let's be real. Yeah, I really like photography, I really 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 like it. I've had a camera, I remember saving up for my first camera. I got the Canon 3000 or something, D3, I don't even know. And then I've got my second camera, the Nikon D3200. Yeah. I swapped over to Nikon whilst I was in A-levels and I absolutely love it to be honest. It's just a basic beginner camera but I absolutely love getting that perfect shot and also I think I want to be an editorial. I think I want to be an editorial. Something like that. Something to do with portraiture. I quite like the idea of working with like companies like that but that's what I'm in uni for. I'm trying to learn what I want to do in life. I've just used the By Terry Brightening palette which <laughs> I actually filmed an unboxing about this like a year ago because I got it from the Molly May. It's like a kit she's done with cos cosmetics. It's actually the best thing in the world. It's lasted me literally a year. Literally, look at this glow. Like, actually, look. Insane queen. And it smells so good. I want to be a content creator. I want to be a photographer. I just don't know how I'm going to get there. We're just going to try and try and try. Just killing my lashes with the Prima Curler. My favourite YouTubers. Let's go. Lydia Bezalu. First one. Hands up. Absolutely love her. She's the best YouTube I actually... If I saw her in the street, I'd probably break down and cry. Like, I literally love her so much. I actually love her YouTube more than Sophia and Jensia's YouTube. And that is saying something because they're like my second YouTuber. Love her. 
fan thing. I love Megan Shaw. I think she is such an inspirational woman. And like, if I need that motivation for the day, I'll pop a YouTube on and just have a look at her vlogs and I'll be ready to go like instantly because she's just so motivational. I absolutely love her. I'm actually really starting to get into Anastasia Kings North again. And I used to be obsessed with her in Saffron Barker when I was little, just cause I don't know whether it was a bit nostalgic. I don't know. I was watching a vlog that she did with Atticus and her mum. I didn't realise, but her mum has a YouTube channel. It's actually the cutest thing ever. It's so cute. I'm just using the High Sky. That's actually so grim. Look how messy that is. High Sky mascara in brown because I started using brown mascara. My sister bought this for me at Christmas and I absolutely love it. I just feel like it makes them look so much more natural. And it goes with my overall complexion. If you've known me for a while, you'll also know I'm actually obsessed with Molly May. Her YouTube has been a bit off-putting recently. I don't know why. Please don't come at me. I think it's just because her vlogs are really long. But then again, everyone's vlogs are really long. I don't know, I think I've just been too into Lydia Berezino vlogs. I do love Molly May. I actually love her whole vibe. You know what? I think it's because, this is going to sound so mean, but I think it's because I can't relate to her as much because she's in her mum, like, BB engagement era. Whereas Lydia's just graduated and, like, she's kind of in a position of her life where she doesn't really know what she's doing and, like, I almost can relate to that more. And I feel like that's probably why I've gone off Molly May, but I've not gone off Molly May. Like, I'll still watch her vlogs, just not as often as Lydia Vazel is. I'm just going to use the MAC lip pencil in shade Subculture. I've really just started getting into lip liners, so I'm still learning. I'm really stupid. Like, I'm emotionally not stupid. I always can tell if someone is feeling left out or, like, I can tell if someone's not right. I can tell straight away. So if you're lying to me and I ask you, are you okay? I know you're lying. Like, if you just say, I'm fine, I can tell straight away that you really, you're not fine. You're, <laughs> you're hiding something. I'm quite emotionally intelligent. I'm not really knowledgeable, intelligent. I don't really have much common sense. At the same time, I'm, like, trying to learn. I'm only 20. I even said my age. <gasps> I'm 20. I'm actually 20. I turned 20 in January. That is actually insane. I actually forgot. I thought I was... I thought I was still 19. I'm just gonna use my Fenty Beauty Heat and Shade and Fussy Heat. I absolutely love this. My sister also got this for me. It just completely cut me out because I've run out of storage, which is great because we are coming to the end of this vlog anyway. But yeah, guys. Look how glossy that is. That's my little everyday, if I want a little bit of makeup on my face and coverage makeup routine so i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what you want to be seeing on my youtube channel i love you all so much if you could please give this a like and comment down below if you actually like this video let me know and subscribe because i'm really gonna get into my youtube era i'm really gonna push out now so yeah thank you so much for watching bye